Despite noticeable successes and the development of battery technology, the majority of automakers are still hesitant about going all-in with the production of fully electric cars. That is why, for now we are going through a period of plug-in hybrids domination, which do have emissionless driving modes for limited ranges, but keep the internal combustion engine under the hood for longer trips. In today's episode of Automotive Territory, we will present to you the latest announcements within the PHEV class that will be released for the 2020 model year. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get the latest news about the electrified vehicles and enjoy the ride! Ford Explorer Hybrid The 30th birthday of Ford's best-selling three-row SUV is being celebrated by the release of the all-new 6th generation, which also adds a PHEV version to the lineup. It has shared specifications with the previously presented Lincoln Aviator Hybrid, namely a combination of a 3.0-liter V6 gasoline engine, an electric motor, and a 10-speed automatic transmission. The system produces 450 horsepower and 620 pound-feet of torque and is characterized by versatility and capability, ensured by the intelligent all-wheel drive and train management system with selectable drive modes. The claimed all-electric range for this midsize SUV is 25 miles, which seems like an optimistic estimate and requires backing up by the EPA evaluation. Despite its electrified nature, the new Explorer remains a competent workhorse, towing up to 5,500 pounds, and the interior adjustments make it a comfortable and tech-advanced family hauler. Hyundai Ioniq PHEV for the 2020 model year, the Ionic family of electrified cars receives a mild facelift, which introduces exterior design changes, new cabin color schemes, and more standard tech. The plug-in version of the compact gains a new style mesh type radiator grille, model-specific 16-inch wheels, and redesigned LED head and taillights. The model's powertrain, however, remains unchanged this year, consisting of the same 1.6-liter four-cylinder paired with a 60-horsepower electric motor, 8.9-kWh battery, and a 6-speed dual-clutch transmission. It offers a target all-electric range of 27 miles, according to the EPA cycle. On the inside, the design remains smooth and clutter-free, though there is a noticeable addition in the form of a large 10.25-inch infotainment. On the tech side, the PHEV features the Echo Driving Assist system with adjustable regenerative braking and the SmartSense Active Safety system, including standard front collision avoidance with pedestrian detection, link keep assist, and driver attention warning. Jeep Compass and Renegade PHEV The Fiat Chrysler electrification plans are quite ambitious. By 2022, the company expects to bring more than 20 electric and hybrid models to the market. As a part of the strategy, the Jeep brand announced new plug-in hybrid versions of the subcompact Renegade and compact Compass crossovers that will debut for the 2020 model year. Built on the same small wide FC8 platform, the models are expected to share the newly developed PHEV powertrain. It consists of a 1.3-liter turbocharged gasoline and an electric motor which should crank out the maximum power of 240 horses. For now, the battery capacity is undisclosed, but the crossovers are said to be able to drive about 31 miles in the electric mode. Jeep also emphasized the model's superior off-road skills that are enhanced by the electric all-wheel drive system. BMW 330e the 2020 model here marks the beginning of the 7th generation for the BMW 3 Series Sport sedan. The model comes with a new design, featuring a larger kidney grill and sharp body lines for a more aggressive look. But the biggest updates for the 330e plug-in are concentrated under the car's hood. The car gets a new 12kWh battery and a 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder with a 67-horsepower electric motor and a total system output of 310 pound-feet of torque and 252 horses. It also features a new extra boost function that can increase the output of the electric motor by 40 horsepower for short periods of time. With this tech, the sedan sprints to 16 pH and 6 seconds and has a maximum all-electric range of 37 miles, doubling the range of the previous generation model. The PHEV lineup from Peugeot Peugeot's electrification initiative is carried out under the motto Unboring the Future. Three existing models in the lineup, Peugeot 3008, 508 and 508 Station Wagon, 
are benefiting from the new Hybrid and Hybrid 4 plug-in powertrains and shall go on sale by the end of 2019. The former setup consists of a 1.6-liter PureTech engine and a single electric motor linked to the gearbox, which gives additional boost to the front wheels, resulting in 225 horsepower yield. The Hybrid 4 powertrain will be available only for the 3008 SUV model and will add another motor to the rear axle, ensuring the four-wheel drive capability and 300 HP. 11.8 and 13.2 kWh batteries will respectively power these setups and should provide up to 27 miles of range, with all electric speeds reaching 84 miles per hour. These new Peugeots also get an advanced iCockpit infotainment, autonomy features and one-pedal driving mode. Opel Grandland X Hybrid Do not act surprised, the German automaker Opel is still alive and kicking. Today is a part of the French PSA Group after the acquisition from General Motors in 2017. This brand has an ambition to electrify the entire lineup by the year 2024, and the first model to start the push is the compact crossover Grandland X Hybrid 4. On the outside, it still has Buick design cues, but underneath hides a pure Peugeot platform. The powertrain is comprised of a 1.6-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder and a pair of electric motors on each axle that yield together quite a compelling number of horses, 300 to be exact. The battery capacity, though, does no miracles and should be enough for 27 miles on each charge, but as per the automaker's claims, will cover 80% of your daily needs. The crossover has all-wheel drive and powerful regenerative braking that enables one-pedal driving. By the way, what is your opinion about plug-in hybrid vehicles? Do you consider them a necessary step in the transition to fully electric vehicles, or should the automaker skip it, just like Tesla did? Share your thoughts in the comments. Let's keep rolling! Ford Escape The 2020 model year of the Ford Escape, aka Kuga on the European market, becomes unrecognizable, acquiring the latest front fascia design shared by Fiesta and Focus. In addition to the exterior changes, the American is electrified with a new hybrid and plug-in hybrid variants of the powertrain with a 2.5-liter IVCT Atkinson cycle engine at heart. The PHEV makes 209 horsepower and 153 pound-feet of torque, and coupled with a 14.4 kWh battery should be able to cover estimated 30 miles of range. All trims except the entry S receive an 8-inch infotainment and an optional 12.3-inch digital cluster. Moreover, such options as head-up display, Bang & Olufsen audio system and panoramic vista roof are also available. Finally, the new Escape gets access to the Ford Copilot 360 technology, which includes a wide range of standard driver assist technologies. BMW 7 Series PHEV It is questionable whether drivers who shop within the luxury segment wanted a new PHEV BMW 7 Series but it's arriving nonetheless. Unfortunately, though, it is among the most disappointing plug-in newcomers in terms of specifications. Its powertrain is represented by a 3.0-liter straight-six cylinder, which coupled with an electric motor makes 394 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque, getting to 60 and 4.9 seconds. Despite the manufacturer's promise 36 miles, the all-electric range barely reaches 16 EPA miles and it is just a 2-mile improvement over the predecessor. Moreover, the combined fuel efficiency of the BMW 745e actually goes down to 22 mpg. As for the exterior, it is rather polarizing, and just two words are needed to describe it – gigantic grill. So, the posh and tech-savvy interior of the 7-series PHEV might be the only consolation. Renault Captur Having rather humble specifications, the new plug-in hybrid version of the Captur will not be aspiring to snatch any awards. However, its arrival is still important to the industry as it becomes the first affordable crossover PHEV within Renault's lineup. The newcomer implements the ETAC plug-in system shared with the Clio, which consists of an 89 horsepower strong 1.6-liter naturally aspirated engine and a 40 horsepower electric motor, bringing the yield to 130 horses combined. The small capacity 9.8 kWh battery is still good enough for up to 31 miles of range due to the Captur's light weight. Among the exterior changes are all LED lights. The pricing has not been announced yet, 
but our guessing is that it should add at least 5000 euros to the current French price tag of 17.5, which corresponds to $25,000. The Link & Co. The Chinese brand Link & Co. is a subsidiary of Chile, which is in turn a parent company for the Swedish Volvo. Their first car set the road in 2018 and are expected to be followed up by plug-in hybrid versions throughout the 2019 and 2020 model years. Link & Co. builds their vehicles on the same platform as Volvo, called Compact Modular Architecture, and today they offer a line of simply labeled automobiles, 01 Compact SUV, 02 Subcompact Crossover and 03 Sedan. When it comes to the electrification tech, all three share the same 247 horsepower strong plug-in system comprised of a 1.5-liter engine and an electric motor. The promised EV range is 31 miles on a charge, which translates to 138 mpg rating. Interestingly, the Chinese brand will be adopting a new ownership scheme, so basically, when the car is not in use, it could be shared with other drivers via a smartphone application. Ferrari SF90 Stradale The announcement of the supercar is an unprecedented event for the automotive community, since it is the very first production-ready plug-in hybrid supercoupe from the seasoned car maker, marking a tectonic shift for the industry. The SF90 Stradale's powertrain consists of a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 from the popular F154 engine family and three electric motors. One is located between the engine and gearbox, while the other two work on the front axle, so besides being the first PHEV Ferrari, it is also the first two-seat supercar from this Italian brand to possess an all-wheel drive capability. The combined output of the setup reaches 1000 horsepower and ensures 2.4 seconds 0 to 6 acceleration and 211 miles per hour maximum velocity. The all electric range of the Stradale is expectedly low, only 15 miles, though this should be still enough to silently drive in and out of the neighborhood before exploding on the highway. What do you think about the upcoming PHEVs? Are there any worthy models within the 2020 lineup? Express your thoughts in the comment section under the video. Do not think twice about watching other suggested videos on the screen. Subscribe to Automotive Territory for all of your electrified news. Like and share this episode to promote the EV revolution. And may the torque be with you!